to um, express our um, mathematical interest and to show y younger students and, and, and elementary school all the way to high school how math is actually fun, it's entertaining, but it's also beautiful and there's um, a lot of very interesting and interested kids here around here that are just really good at it and they ask tons of questions about how to solve problems, what you do with your work and whatnot and then I think that it's great for us to have the opportunity to actually show them um, through some games uh, how mathematics is not just hard and cumbersome, it's actually fun and entertaining as well. So this is one of the reasons why I'm here because you can actually connect with them a lot of this. So the game I was leading today is called Genius Blocks. So what the kids had to do basically is to um, sum up um, six different numbers to a given target number. So basically what they have is they have a set of six dice and then they take these die and then on every die there's numbers. What they basically got to do is to flip the dice around and to try to get a combination of the upper numbers that show up on the dice to add up to a different number that is a target number. So you got, you know, different target numbers here that are easier or harder to get. For example, 97, you could get it as a combination of, or sum of six different numbers. And then it should take you about, you know, two minutes to do it uh, if you sit down and think about it. But there's a, the idea is there's an underlying strategy on the, behind it. To tell you how smart they are, I mean, I've been doing Math Mania before, and then, <clears throat> so there's, for example, here the hardest number to get they add to add uh, all the six numbers to one, and it's very difficult to get to, to get to there. And I've only seen it done very few times by very old people. Not only your, the St. Michael's University School found ways to do it, they found four different possibilities of actually getting it within an hour, maybe, of all trying together. So it's pretty amazing because they are all working really well together. At solving problems and all very persistent. I was really surprised by their ability to sit down and work on it for a long time because mathematical problems are not solved very quickly so you really got to sit down and be persistent about it and then work in teams and the students here were really good at doing it so I was very impressed.